Okay, thank you everyone. Um, my name is Ben Gagnon. I'm the CEO of a company called BitFarms. Uh, BitFarms is one of the largest, oldest, and publicly traded Bitcoin companies on the planet. Um, but over the last couple of, of months, we've really been focused not really on Bitcoin mining, but on this new opportunity, uh, which is HPC and AI, that I'd like to get into. There was a, a recent report out by McKinsey a couple of weeks ago about the opportunity here in the space. And uh, while Bitcoin mining is about 15 to 20 gigawatts of consumption right now, it's projected that over the next couple of years, the demand on HPC is going to be upwards of 550 gigawatts. So the, the future expectations on HPC are you know, upwards of 10 times bigger than the Bitcoin mining market is today. The amount of capital that's going to have to go into this space in order to build out this infrastructure and facilitate uh, this demand is, is also staggering. It's measured in the trillions of dollars. And you know, the market right now is really closer to maybe 20 to 40 gigawatts of current demand. That's not really suitable, as I said earlier, for the needs of tomorrow. So likely this full 150 gigawatts of capacity is going to be need to build over the next couple of years. And there's a few things that really play into this. Um, the first thing that I think is important to talk about is that while these numbers seem really, really large when it comes to compute, since the invention of modern computing with Alan Turing and the uh, Enigma machine back in World War II, there has not been a year where the amount of computing capacity has gone down. Every single year, the amount of computing capacity increases and increases and increases. Not only is it getting more efficient, it's growing in terms of its total capacity. And so as we're looking forward to the future, how are you actually going to service this demand? There's massive timeline constraints when it comes to building out new energy generation, when it comes to connecting to the grid, and when it comes to really being able to build an energy campus. So at BitFarms, we've done several things over the last um, couple of months here to really set up the foundation for HPC and AI. Um, the first thing that we did was we actually got rid of, uh, by divesting all of our Bitcoin mining megawatts that we didn't want to develop. Um, we had 200 megawatts in Paraguay specifically built for Bitcoin mining. And with all of our uh, emphasis here on HPC, we really wanted to make sure that we could focus our time, our effort, and our capital on this higher value opportunity. So we divested our largest Bitcoin mining site that we have ever uh, built. And then we also acquired two power plants in the United States, which we think are going to be our two flagship campuses for HPC rolling forward. And this ties into what I was just saying on the slide before around this energy pipeline. It's not just about having access to energy on the grid, but it's about taking control over our own future by generating our own power. And so we have the ability at these two different sites to generate, um, you know, currently upwards of 80, 80 gigawatts apiece, sorry, 80 megawatts apiece. Um, we're looking at additional generation capacity that we can drop in on site, and we've got grid connections that we can build up to expand the sites to about 500 megawatts apiece. So at the Panther Creek site, which I'll get to in a minute, we're going to have five different sources of power on that site that add up to 500 megawatts. Um, the second thing that we did was we went out and we secured um, really top class talent in HPC as well as in um, infrastructure construction management. So we got um, a new head of HPC and AI. Um, he came from HPE. He ran the US division for the last 15 years selling compute to all of the kind of companies that we're looking to service, the, the Amazons of the world, the Oracles, the Googles, the Metas. Um, he was doing their sales um, or sales for them through HPE. Um, the second thing you know, with the advisors that we hired is we were able to bring in a huge uh, group of people with incredible resources in order to provide us uh, faster runways and greater expertise to actually execute on this faster and better and ensure better outcomes. Um, the last thing we did here was we really just wanted to finish what we had already started off with, with our Bitcoin mining. So we effectively finished most of our Bitcoin growth efforts. Uh, we ended up growing our hash rate about 50%. And we have no more material miner purchases planned rolling forward. 
So this gives us a really low capex, stable cash flow foundation that's monetizing all of our active megawatts now. It's given us free cash flow out of those operations to fund the business, to fund debt service, and also to contribute to growing out the HPC business and really enables our team to focus on this opportunity. Um, so we've built this really, really strong foundation here in Q1. And then on April 1st, we capped off all of those achievements by locking in a $300 million facility here with Macquarie Group. Um, they're one of the largest infrastructure investors in the world. They've invested in um, you know, anything that you can name it on the energy infrastructure side, and their big focus right now is on data centers. And when we brought them the opportunity here around the two power plants that we had secured in the United States, they also saw the same opportunity that we did. So this is kind of how the building blocks for HPC look for us. Um, we did what we needed to do in the first quarter to build that foundation for us as a Bitcoin mining company to enable the development of this HPC business. And now what we have is a very site-specific and repeatable process that is going to be implemented across all of the different U.S. sites in our portfolio. And in order to collapse the timelines down, um, a lot of these things are happening simultaneously. Um, and so what we do here is we're working on two different things simultaneously for each site that we are pursuing. One, we're working on the master site design, engineering, and plan. So this is everything from uh, the land layout, the substation design, uh, the you know, infrastructure plan, the, the, the budgets, the timelines, the Gantt charts in order to develop out a site. And at the same time, we're utilizing all of that information to go out and achieve or secure site-specific financing or site-specific financing partners in order to help fund the build out of these sites. Um, once those two different buckets are done, what we're really going to be focused on is the construction, the site marketing, uh, the customer acquisition process, and of course, the deal finalization to, to energization. This is our Panther Creek uh, campus that we're working on designing right now. These renders come out of this site map designing and engineering process. So when you're designing a facility like this, it's not only about running the math, it's about creating the digital twins, the 3D models, the real world environment so you understand exactly how all the different components fit in together and work together and are, are relatable to each other. Um, this site here is, is going to be what we expect to be our flagship campus here for HBC and AI, and is really designed around not only what the needs are for today, but around what are going to be the needs in around 2027 or 2028. When we are done with the site master plan and engineering process, we're actually going to be taking what we've learned here at the Panther Creek facility and replicating it across all of our other U.S. sites in our portfolio. Um, we just completed the feasibility assessments for all of our U.S. assets. Um, and you know, I'm really excited to report that every single one of those sites has been approved by both of the different HPC and advisors that we had as not only well-suited, but extremely well-suited for HPC, AI, and construction. So this is something that we're going to leverage those successes off of Panther Creek in order to replicate them across our entire portfolio and bring to market not just one site, to the customers, but a whole pipeline of sites so that we can best match the opportunities with the customers. We are incredibly well positioned for, our, for this growth now. Um, we've got incredible liquidity here uh, with the financing that we've raised, the cash in hand, the Bitcoin on our balance sheet. Uh, we've got the right assets, people, and advisors in place to begin this work. And now we're focus is really gonna be on developing these sites so that we can squeeze out the maximum value uh, out of our power portfolio for each different site in our portfolio. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, one more thing. I have with me a virtual reality headset. So if anybody would like to see a Bitcoin mining facility, you can come up to me, we'll find a place where you can sit down and you can tour one of our Bitcoin mining sites in virtual reality. Neat little experience. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you.